Hi guys, so today I wanted to make a quick video, hopefully quick, on my um, latest mineral foundation purchase, which is the Young Blood. And um, I apologize for my voice, but uh, my phone, because uh, I've been quite sick uh, lately, just with a cold and stuff, but it's not really nice to um, film videos with like a stuffy um, nose and like a nasal voice. However, today is Easter, so happy Easter to everyone. And I feel better, of course, the sun is shining, and I wanted to make this video in daylight because uh, normally I do it here facing the mirror and the lights uh, just basically like in bright, bright in my face. But um, I really want you to see the color because the reason why I love this so much, not only for the texture, but the color, now, I don't know if you can see the color of my skin. I have no makeup on whatsoever. And um, um, let's see. Um, I basically, my color is very particular because I'm like an olive base color, but I'm very yellow, but it's like a bright yellow. I remember one Mac artist saying, you're like a... Um, What's it called? Um, not a peach, a oh, albicocca. I can't, damn it. I can't remember of the name, the fruit, not the peach, the other one. Anyway, albicocca, I'll write it here. Um, and so it's very bright, a bright kind of um, yellow, even though maybe, I don't know if it picks up on camera, but I promise you it is. And I always have difficulty finding the right shade for me. They're always too pinky or too beigey, and you really want to brighten your skin. It's all about, about brightening your skin. So, um, yeah, and then before starting the video, I'm just gonna tell you the reason why I'm starting with no makeup is normally I, normally I start the video with um, makeup and then I do the application, but the less editing I do, the better, because my iMovie, um, program has upgraded itself on its own and everything is completely different and I hate it. It takes me a long, long time. I'm sorry, I have something in my eye. And so of course I'm going to have to do some editing, but um, the less the better. That's why I'm starting like this. Um, okay, so let's get on to the um, application and then I'll talk about everything later. The only thing I want to tell you is that the color is soft beige and um, it comes, this is the packaging. I love the packaging, it's very sleek. Behind it says soft beige and it's cruelty free, you know, young blood. I'm all into the like cruelty free um, thing. And it has paraben free, mattifying minerals and rice powder. This compact one, well, might as well just talk about it a little bit now because that's the way I am. <laughs> Mattify mineral and rice powder combine to camouflage the appearance of pores and fine lines. Lightweight with a natural looking finish. Now, you know I'm like a mineral foundation freak. So, um, this is the compact version. They did also come in the um, um, loose version like the Laura Mercier, but this one also already has the rice powder and the rice powder is like their setting powder. It's like the what Bare Mineral has, their mineral veil. And I didn't like the mineral veil at all. It didn't do anything for me, but instead of buying the loose powder and the mineral and the rice powder, I just bought this. But I read some reviews that this is not as good as the loose. However, I swatched it in the stores and under those bright lights, this seemed like it was dewier and nicer as in texture, but then I could be wrong. I'm probably gonna also um, buy the loose because I'm just like a freaky, freaky chick when it comes to like mineral powder. So anyway, this is the color. It's soft beige pressed mineral powder. It comes with a little spongy. Um, the sponge is very uh, calm, like dense. Uh, it's not very uh, lightweight kind of powder. If you apply it with the pow with the sponge, I tried it once and it's very full on coverage. Anyway, I also wanted to tell you that this is extremely full cut, extremely full. It's like it's a like full coverage. It's like like I said in my other video. Look at this. This is just a few like 
swipes and this is like the Estee Lauder double wear of mineral foundations. That's what I said in my other video. And I'm just going to, I don't know, maybe you can see it better on my hand. Um, this is the color. And you don't see it because it just melts in my skin color. I mean, it's unbelievable. I'll, don't worry, I'll, I'll do a close up of this. I don't know if. I'm always afraid that you can't see anything when I'm that this far away. And it basically is the same exact color of my skin. Exactly the same. It's unbelievable because I went to the shop with my friend and I said, look, you got to help me here because under these bright lights, I can never get it right. And the, the ladies at the shop never know what they're talking about here. They have absolutely no idea, even though they did training, because this is a brand new line that they got in the shop. They did the training, but then I knew more about Youngblood than she did. She's like, oh yeah, I don't know, uh -uh, whatever. So I asked my friend, what actually disappears into my skin? And she said this. The others um, were too like pinky and stuff. But anyway, what you need to do with this is that you need to um, at least I do, I need to moisturize very, very, very well so um, because it is kind of full coverage but I swear it just melts into my skin. Um, the brush that I use is this one. Uh, let me just tell you the products and that I'm using just on my face and then you will see. So the color, like I said, is exactly similar and the closest that I, and it's unbelievable that it's this is the color, but it's the Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder. It's almost the same yellow. This is a bit more yellow. Very, very similar to this because if I swatch a little bit on my hand of this powder, everything, hold on, okay. This also kind of disappears into my skin. So this is the yellow and the yellow banana powder and this is the um, mineral foundation. This is a little bit more yellow of course but it's like almost the same and obviously like this powder is a little more grittier than the mineral foundation because the mineral foundation just melts in my um, skin. Okay, so basically this is my latest um, Young Blood mineral foundation routine. So I'm using my Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage in SC2 as concealer and under my eyes, if you believe it or not. Um, then all I need is basically concealer and then a little bit of this. Now. On a day-to-day -day basis, as you can see, my skin is doing very well, so I don't, I'm sorry, I was looking the viewfinder, damn it. So I don't need much, um, so I would use um, this, um, um, um. I would use the, this is a blush brush by Real Techniques, so I apply concealer wherever I need it, and then with this, I just dab it in, and I don't swirl, I just basically lay it on my skin like this and I really like a very light application because um, my oils from my skin show through and throughout the day I mean I'm fine just as long as I touch up like I'm looking in the mirror here these like red spots my glasses give me this red spot unbelievable all the time so that's not good but today I'm going to apply it full coverage with this okay and this is great um, because if you do want to apply like a full coverage um, foundation of this, of the compact, you really, really need to buff it in. But like very, like spend your time buffing it in. And this is a great brush. So if I don't put a lot, I wear this. If I do put a lot, I have to have to buff in um, because it's very full coverage and you don't, you know, you can it can become a little bit cakey. So anyway. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with my usual, I'm gonna actually now zoom in. Okay, so this is my bare face. 
ouch so my Giorgio Armani master corrector and like I said I'm gonna look into my mirror here and I'm just going to put it on the dark spots actually here cuz mm, there's like a big hollow here and then a little bit here and a little bit here hopefully you see this is, makes the biggest difference like the natural light this is like full HD so and then um, my real techniques um, the multitask brush it's just amazing so all I need is a little bit in here okay and then once I do this I'm just gonna go in with the pinkier shade here of the secret camouflage just really work it in my on my middle finger and warm both of these fingers and then apply it under my eyes like this this is also real full coverage and it doesn't kick up on me I don't know what others have said they've said that this is like you know not good for the under eye area it's not true you warm it up and it's beautiful so I just bring it a little bit down here and then always with my real techniques I go in the more yellow part and I have some broken capillaries here and I'm just I cover them and so here <clears throat> around my nose and then if I want like more and have an accurate um, pinpoint concealing I go with this brush which is I believe the, the lip brush by Real Techniques now I'm gonna do this like the concealing I would just normally Oh my god my voice I would just normally do the concealer and then start buffing in but <clears throat> I'm just gonna this is what I do when I um, only do the light powder with my big fluffy brush because I don't move anything instead now I'm gonna like buff in and you're gonna see like some of the concealer is gonna come off obviously because you buff and you buff away and you're moving that concealer so let me just show you actually you know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do one side like I wouldn't do I would do on a normal day. And the other side I'm gonna do buffing, buffing away. Okay, so that's it. That's basically um my concealing. Now normally I would go out like this with a light dab of um this powder okay so here we go with this powder I'm gonna blind you I'm just gonna go into the powder with my brush like this tap it off a bit and then just go do this and it's gonna set that concealer and and especially under my eyes now I would also I can use the banana boat uh, the banana boat the banana luxury powder um, under my eyes but this will do because it's just says brightening okay and that's it basically because I really do not take uh, too much now on the other side I'm going to use this brush and I'm really gonna work it in here just do this so that you can see and I'm gonna start applying Okay, so as you can see, um, it has moved a little bit of my concealer, but the effect is, I think, just as nice, but...
since I'm applying more, I just want to show you how like full coverage it is. I'm just going to bring it down my neck too a little bit. Okay, so this is the buffed in heavier um, foundation side and this is the less. I personally like the, this side better uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. But now I'm going to have to go in again with my Laura Mercier and conceal a little bit. Um, some things came off yeah, and that's it just have to conceal here a little bit okay so this is the side the light um, application and this is the more heavy application just flawless really my forehead I have a brown spot here a dark spot so just gonna take some um, concealer and conceal. So um, it's just beautiful, gorgeous, and very dewy, as you can see. Especially, but I had to moisturize very well, so um, you know. And then what I do? I'm gonna zoom out right now. Okay, so now I'm probably going to apply a little bit more on this side because I have to go out, so um, I can't look one side different than the other. Even though it doesn't really make much difference, as you saw. Just apply a little bit more. So the key, so the key to these mineral foundations, obviously, the more you buff them in, the more they like activate themselves and become this beautiful, dewy kind of um, cream. And this is amazing. So now let's just continue real quick with the blush. I also got the um, Young Blood Mineral Blush in Zin, Z-I-N. This is the color. I'm absolutely mad about this color. Um, and I'm gonna apply that, but what I do sometimes to take away the powderiness is that you can use Fix Plus or I put inside my rose water. I'm just gonna spray my face and let it sit a little bit so that it gives even more dewiness. Just a little bit, just wait. And sometimes instead of waiting, I just take a, like a, a beauty blender and I just pat the moisture in doesn't matter you can wait or you can do this it really doesn't matter and I have just a beautiful natural looking skin and what I wanted to show you is that it's exactly my skin color so I am extremely yellow extremely yellow okay Okay, so I'm not gonna apply bronzer today because I want to show you the true color of this. And then I'm gonna apply my Zin blush with my Real Techniques um, multitask brush. This is a beautiful color. I'm just gonna apply to the apples of my cheeks. And like this, bring it up. It's a beautiful color, look at that. I mean, I am absolutely in love. A little bit on my nose. Hope you guys like this color because it's a dusty kind of pink. And I love it. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, freshly applied. And of course, anything that's freshly applied looks amazing. So I'm um, just going to also more, probably take some pictures now and then um, come back because since it's Easter, so now it's 10.30, I just applied freshly um, the powder and it looks wonderful of course. I'm going to continue doing my makeup on my own. Then um, I have a, to go to lunch obviously because it's Easter with the family. And so in the afternoon, later in the afternoon, I'm going to come back. It's going to be sunnier here, so I'm going to have even more sunlight. And I'm going to show you the result of the skin because that's what you want to do. You know, sometimes I watch videos and I'm really interested in the product, but they just talk about it. They don't actually show you. So 
um, I'm showing you what I would be interested in watching. So um, I really love this foundation. I think it's it's great for like full coverage, but also depending on the brush, of course, you can make it lighter. Um, and yeah, well, you can be the judge of it, obviously, after. I'm going to continue with, you know, I'm going to just continue reviewing it after a few hours when I come back in the afternoon and we can continue chit-chatting. Okay, see you later, guys. Hey guys, I'm back. It's 4.30 in the afternoon, I don't know if you can see. And this is the result of my um, mineral foundation. Now, I, I am just very tired and <laughs> we ate, I went to church, uh, Sunday mass for Easter and then I went uh, to have lunch and we finished like half an hour ago. So it's really like it was like a wedding we were at a restaurant anyway i didn't do like exercise or anything or i didn't sweat but i walked from the restaurant back to um to my house along the seafront and it was extremely windy and it was very very sunny as you can see but it's cloudy all this to tell you that um i was a little bit hot but besides that i didn't do any physical like activity and um I still look dewy and natural, not shiny, uh, but I'm, my skin is, um, like it's mixed, it's not too oily, it's not too dry, like normal to combination I would say. And um, the concealer held up very well, I didn't touch up anything, um, and I just put on some lip gloss for you to see. I kept my makeup very simple. Uh, just added some paint pots on my eyes, mascara, and the blush you know, and I'm just going to zoom you in so you can see the result. Okay, so this is the side that I applied the mineral foundation with this brush, which as you can see, a little bit of my dark spots came through. They usually do anyway and of course this is the side with this brush the buffing brush and it's a heavier um, layer of foundation I think both look great and no matter what I do like even here my dark spot it shows through and um, anyway I don't know if you can see my blush too um, the blush holds up pretty well during the day as far as the color, you can see that it matches my skin very well. You see now the sun is going away because it's very cloudy, but um, I put nothing on my neck, no bronzer, no nothing. Maybe it's even too bright here. Oh my gosh. The sun is really bright at this time and it's the first time I'm filming with daylight. I usually film, like I said, with artificial lights, but at least with daylight you can really, really see um, the finish. I'm going to zoom you in even closer. Okay. Here, probably you can see even better. So this is a definitely the neater side. On my lips, I have one of those Clarence balms and stuff. Oh, now the sun is going away. Maybe it's better when the sun goes away. Anyways, a little bit blotchy here, but that's because, like I told you, I just applied it like that. And this is like perfection. I really love it and the color is amazing. Okay guys, so that is the end of my tutorial and demo. Um, my final thoughts is that I love this, I really do. And most of all, I like uh, the color. The compact is great. The fact that it's cruelty free is even better. Um, and I will try the loose powder. Um, and yeah, and of course I'll try even more blushes and the eyeshadows that they have look Phenomenal, phenomenal, just amazing. I love this um, brand. Uh, by the way, I didn't say it, but it's Pauline Youngblood, and she used to work, I think, in a medical office, and she started this line for women that um, came out of that medical office, and you know, they had just had lasers or peels or all these like heavy duty things done to their face, but they wanted coverage, and this has like, like I told you, no parabens, no like. I think it has talc, I'm not sure, but it has a lot of good stuff in it and I don't believe it has SPF, but it doesn't matter because that's what I wear underneath the, 
Um, yeah, just make sure you moisturize very well and hopefully I can get the loose powder and compare it. But I would like to finish some of my others, you know. Um, maybe now what I can do is uh, swatch it next to mine. I'm going to show you, um, and this is the last thing I do, next to the MAC MSF Natural in, I have it in, oh my god, Light Plus. Then I have the Laura Geller in Light, and this is the color. And then I have this in, look how more yellow it is. So here I'm going to zoom you in. Okay, these are the colors, very yellow, as you can see. Um, and also yellow, swatch, one, two, three. Wow, okay, so as you can see, this is very yellow. This is the middle one, Laura Geller, and this. So they are all very nice, um, but the color that, um, is very it's closer to my skin color um, the Galore Geller is a little bit pink and so is the there you can see on my hand this is the um, this is the young blood Laura Geller and light plus as you can see, this is like way more yellow. That's enough for me. Great, great product. Um, I still, I think, out of all of the powder foundations, maybe the one that I prefer the most is the MAC MSF Natural, but I'm just gonna have to do without because I'm not gonna buy MAC anymore, as you know, so Young Blood comes pretty close to it. I, I really like it. All right, that's enough for me. I will see you very shortly with another video and have a great week. Bye, guys.